Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be talking about the new generation of graphic cards from NVIDIA, which are the GeForce RTX. What is GTX? So NVIDIA launched three new graphic cards with a new architecture, which is the RTX 2070, RTX 2080 and the RTX 2080 Ti. Now this time Nvidia went with the new architecture which is known as the tuning and Nvidia says that it has been 10 years in making of this technology with great tracing. So let's talk about the Nvidia tuning. Now Nvidia tuning gives you up to 6 times performance uh, compared to the previous generation graphic cards, it has a real-time ray tracing in games and it also has a powerful AI to enhance the graphics in the game. So this means that uh, with this new technology, you will be able to see more sharper images, uh, much more reflections, uh, much more clarity in terms of your uh, you know reflections and all the objects and wherever you are standing and the lights are coming in and uh, you know i'm really excited to try the new games like uh, shadow of the tomb raider and the battlefield 5 which is going to be using the ray tracing technology so really excited to try these new games now let's talk about the first graphic card which is the rtx 2070 so this time nvidia did something new uh, this time with the rtx series of graphic cards they really went with a new design so no longer you will be seeing a blower style uh, cooling solutions so this time nvidia went with a dual fan uh, coupled with a new vapor chamber so that you can get uh, more cooling and more quieter performance so uh, this means that we will be able to overclock our graphic cards much more and we can get slightly better performance now let's see the power of GeForce RTX 2017. Now in this picture, if you look at the previous generation GeForce GTX 1070, uh, it has a Pascal architecture, whereas the RTX 2017 has the Turing architecture. Now the boost clock on the normal edition for the RTX 2017 is 1620 MHz, whereas the Founders Edition has been overclocked to 1710 MHz. On the uh, GTX 1070, it was 1683 MHz. Now, this time, uh, the previous generation graphic cards were having an 8GB GDDR5 memory, whereas the new series of graphic cards will come with the 8GB of GDDR6 memory. So, that is, I think, really great. Now, the memory speed was 8 gigabits per second of the previous generation graphic cards compared to the 14 gigabits per second on the newer generation of the graphic cards. Now, this will definitely be much, much more more powerful than the previous generation graphic cards and uh, if you want to look at the full specifications here is the full comparison between the reference model of the 2070 as well as the uh, founders edition and uh, you can see over here uh, all the uh, tech specifications in this chart now let's talk about the next graphic card which is the RTX 2080 so the RTX 2080 Founders Edition graphic card features the next generation 8-phase power supply for maximum overclocking and a dual actual 13 blade fans coupled with a new vapor chamber for ultra fast cooling and quiet performance. And definitely in this one also we will be able to overclock our graphic card, we will be able to get uh, much more higher clock speeds and a better performance and let's talk about the power of the RTX 2080 over here now over here in this chart you guys can see we have the RTX 2080 as well as the RTX 2080 founders edition and we also have the previous generation GTX 1080 now the GTX 1080 was running on the Pascal architecture whereas the RTX 2080 as well as the 2080 founders edition are running in the in, uh, tuning architecture now the base clock of the normal RTX 2080 will be 1710 megahertz whereas the founders edition goes up to 1800 megahertz and whereas the uh, boost clock of the GTX 1080 would be 1733 MHz. Now over here let's talk about the memory comparison. Now the GTX 1080 was having an 8GB GDDR5X memory whereas the RTX 2080 as well as the 2080 Founders Edition will include 8GB of GDDR6 memory and the GTX 1080 was having uh, the memory speed of 10 gigabits per second whereas the RTX 2080 has 
uh, memory speed of 14 gigabits per second. Now here is the full specifications of the RTX 2080 and you guys can have a closer look at the specifications of this. Now let's talk about the third graphic card which is the most powerful graphic card yet announced by Nvidia and it is the GeForce RTX 2080 Ti. Now the factory old clock GeForce RTX 2080 Ti Founders Edition graphic cards features the next generation 13 phrase power supply for maximum overclocking and a dual axial 13 blade fan coupled with a new vapor chamber for ultra fast cooling as well as performance. This means that yes, this graphic card is a beast, is a monster and it will be able to overclock, it will be able to achieve higher uh, clock speeds and we will definitely be able to get a better performance compared to the older generation graphic card. Now let's talk about the power of the RTX 2080 Ti. Now in this chart you can look at the comparison between the GTX 1080 Ti as well as the RTX 1080 Ti. Now the older one was running on the Pascal architecture while this one is running on the Turing architecture. Now the boost clock on the GTX 1080 Ti was 1582 megahertz. Now let's talk about the memory. Now the GTX 1080 Ti has 11 gigabytes of GDDR5X memory whereas the RTX 2080 Ti has 11 gigs of GDDR6 memory. Now the memory speeds for the GTX 1080 Ti will be 11 gigabits per second whereas the memory speed for the RTX 1080 Ti will be 14 gigabits per second. And I am really excited to see how powerful this uh, 280 Ti can be. Turing GPUs are designed with hardware support for the USB Type-C connector. Now Virtual Link is the new open industry standard being developed to meet the power, the display and the bandwidth demand for the next generation VR headset. That means that uh, you will be able to use the next generation VR headset uh, directly by plugging them into the USB Type-C connector. Now these graphic cards are equipped with DisplayPort 1.4 which can go 8K up to 60Hz. Now the prices for all these graphic cards will vary depending upon which country you are living in. Now let's let's see if you are living in US. The RTX 2017 goes to 599 US dollars, the RTX 2080 goes to 799 US dollars and the RTX 2080 goes to 1199 US dollars. So you can pre-order the graphic cards so over here in India. You guys can pre-order the graphic cards from the Nvidia website and the shipping starts from 27th of September. So guys, let me know in the comments section below how you feel about these new graphic cards. Are you really excited to try them? Are you really excited to buy them? Or you will just stick with your older generation graphic cards up till now. Make sure you like and subscribe. I'm gonna catch you guys later.